right, so this is our tram right setup. We just have an old toolbox that we mounted on the chassis. We have our air tank, our air compressor right here, and then our, uh, our valve system on this side of the box. Pretty simple setup. We have reservoirs back here. I don't think you can see them, but they consist of two inch PVC plastic. Uh, we're called tanks, but they're about three foot long sticks of PVC with fittings on the end. And just something very simple that we can tie band to the machine. And if we happen to trade seeders, we can take off and put on the next one. We put them out here because we thought it'd be easier to spray the weed and we'd make a little profit on it. And it's been it's been better than that. Um, and what really sold us was an 80 that's about two miles away from here that we thought we could see our tracks time after time in the wheat field and we couldn't. And then we, you know, until about this stage and then you could start seeing them again and you figure out that you had six, you know, four sets of tracks across the field and it, it did negatively impact yield. So we went ahead and invested in the tram system and it, it helps even after your wheat crop is off. You can use those tram rows again for your burn downs. And then you kind of know where you're at the next year as well because we don't run the same tram lines every year. So on a second year wheat crop, we'll either go at a slight angle. You know, basically what you try to do is have an angle such that your gap at the end is, is a little bit less than your sprayer boom length. So you're, not, you're only making one extra pass per field. And you do that and you can keep from getting ruts out in your field. One of the other things is you get that outside row effect in there too. Oh, yeah, Jim's idea is that you get the outside row effect. So you have the two rows that are right along me here that, that can get the nutrients out of the tram row. And this year we stopped fertilizing the tram row uh, sprayer when we did top dress. So that doesn't necessarily apply to this field because we use urea out here with a truck. Uh, so as long as you can keep from driving down the row when you're when you're going down the tram line, then then you can get that outside row effect. And no, we don't use auto steer. At least I don't when I'm driving through the, the trammed wheat field. It's it's all manual. It, maybe RTK would do it. I'm maybe not. I don't know. We haven't been there.